In the early days of the epidemic, there had been a severe shortage of medical protective equipment. Wuhan's stopgap strategy meant that sometimes hospitals didn't know if they had enough supplies for the next day. To save protective suits, the medical staff ate as little as possible while working for as long as possible. From late January to February, President Xi repeatedly stressed the need to step up the supply of medical equipment. The Central Steering Group took responsibility for implementing his instructions on the ground. The Joint Epidemic Prevention and Control Mechanism of the State Council worked to coordinate ministries, departments, and localities in mobilizing materials and restarting production after the Spring Festival holiday. From February the 1st to the 7th, the Central Steering Group ordered that 20,000 N95 medical masks be sent to Wuhan every day. At the same time, daily production of the masks nationwide was only 100,000 units. In accordance with a decision by the State Council's Joint Prevention and Control Mechanism, 17 departments and bureaus of the National Development and Reform Commission established a mask team. In early February, the masked team, working from the afternoon to 2 a.m., managed to secure 1,000 N95 medical masks. The team also assumed responsibility for coordinating labor, raw materials, machinery and equipment, capital and transport, and for solving any problems encountered in the resumption and expansion of production at enterprises. On January the 25th, daily output of ordinary masks had stood at only 8 million units. Through a concerted effort, production rose steadily. By February the 3rd, daily output in the country's 22 key provinces reached almost 15 million units. And by February the 29th, 116 million units, 15 times greater than a month before. Within a further month, it reached 300 million units. Behind this miracle was the strong support provided by China's industrial system, the most comprehensive in the world, one that enables resources to be concentrated on accomplishing major undertakings. On the main battlefield in Wuhan, the daily demand for protective suits was at least 12,500. At the height of the shortage, the entire national stockpile couldn't meet Wuhan's needs for a single day. Wuhan was experiencing the difficulties, but it was up to the whole country to solve them. This factory is owned by Xinxing Cafe International Group. Under the guidance of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, the enterprise shifted its production to protective suits. The ministry secured the raw materials and the authorities provided the necessary production technology and quality supervision.
有一次在生产当中，由于当时胶条的供应呢十分紧张，这个即将面临停工的风险，我们呢立即协调，并与胶条企业共同协商，从当天的产量当中调集了部分产品，然后呢由专人打飞的运到了企业。By March, Xinxing Cathay International's daily production of protective suits had reached 140,000. This represented 40% of total national output. Something else that was desperately needed was negative pressure ambulances. On February the 5th, when Lei Shunshun Hospital became operational, a large number of patients needed to be transferred there. The Central Steering Group had earlier issued a request for 200 negative pressure ambulances to be delivered to Wuhan within 10 days. In view of the fact that in the whole of 2019, only 50 of the ambulances had been produced in China, the task seemed impossible. Because the whole of the supply chain industry is involved in hundreds of units. That is not possible to complete the task. We have to make a decision to make a global decision. We have to make a global decision. We have to make a global decision. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology assigned separate production tasks to a number of key auto manufacturers. The most complex part of the ambulance is the negative pressure isolation cabin. Since there was no existing stock, the ambulance manufacturers dispatched people to wait at the factories and collect the cabins as soon as they were completed. Dismantling finished vehicles to obtain more chassis, offering high prices for parts and paying suppliers in advance, these were some of the ways employed by the auto manufacturers to obtain what they needed. Although the ambulances were manufactured on time, heavy snowfall in northern China threatened to delay delivery. 湖北、辽宁、河北、天津、河南、湖南，这五省一市的交警在风雪中接力，交警一路护送到了湖北。A total of nearly 700 negative pressure ambulances were eventually delivered to Hubei. As a result, all the people who needed it could be safely transferred to hospital. 如果没有各地的协同，央企的协同。没有整个的集中力量，半大四这个体制优势是不可能实现的。